Philippine Pharmaceuticals in association with Higher Secondary Principals Forum. Properties of inverse trigonometric function. We have seen what are the different inverse trigonometric functions, what are their domains and ranges and all. Now what we are doing is the properties of inverse trigonometric functions which are given in the textbook. There are six properties which given. So let us start with the first property. The first one is sin inverse of 1 by x is equal to cosec inverse of x if modulus of x is greater than or equal to 1. Similarly, cos inverse of 1 by x is sec inverse of x if modulus of x is greater than or equal to 1. Tan inverse of 1 by x is cot inverse of x if x is greater than 0, only if x is greater than 0. Let us go through the proofs. The proof of the first one sin inverse of 1 by x is theta. Then you know the relation between and then sin theta is 1 by x. You know the relation between sin theta and cosec theta. Then cosec theta is x. They are reciprocal to each other. Cosec theta is x. Then theta is cosec inverse of x. So from this 1 and 2, both are theta. What we get? We get sin inverse of 1 by x is cosec inverse of x. Okay? That is a proof of the first one. Similarly, we can prove cos inverse of 1 by x is sec inverse of x from the relation between cos theta and sec theta. They are reciprocal to each other. And tan inverse of 1 by x is cot inverse of x you get from the relation tan theta and cot theta, they are reciprocal to each other. Similar proof. And here I want to explain one point. This is true only for x is greater than 0. I will explain that using an example. Here, if tan theta is minus 1 by root 3, cot theta is negative root 3, then tan inverse of minus 1 by root 3 is minus pi by 6 which is an angle in the fourth quadrant between 0 and pi by 2 and sorry negative pi by 2 and 0 negative pi by 2 and 0 here cot inverse of minus root 3 but it is an angle in the second quadrant between 0 and pi, pi by 2 and pi 5 pi by 6 pi minus pi by 6 Therefore, they are not equal. Though tan theta and cot theta are reciprocal to each other, tan inverse of minus 1 by root 3, cot inverse of minus root 3 are not same, are not equal. It is true only for positive values, not for negative values. Next is here sin inverse of minus x, sin inverse of minus x is minus sin inverse of x, second set of properties. Cosec inverse of minus x is minus cosec inverse of x, tan inverse of minus x is minus tan inverse of x. This is, there are some conditions given. Let us see the proof of the first one. Let sin inverse of x be A. I took that as A. Then sin A is x. Then the main point you have to remember, sin of minus A is minus sin A, which is minus x. Therefore, minus a is equal to sin inverse of minus x. 
So from this result we are getting, this is the main step. That's why I put an asterisk there. This is the main step. And then sine inverse of minus x is minus a same step I have written. Uh, just changing the order. And then hence from 1 and 2 sine inverse of minus x is minus sine inverse of x. Both are this is for this a. I am substituting sine inverse of x. So, we are getting sine inverse of minus x is minus sine inverse of x. So, which is the main step here? Sine of minus a is minus sin a. From that trigonometric formula, we are getting this uh, property of inverse trigonometric functions. So, similar way we can prove this. You know that cosec minus a is ma minus cosec a. From that you will get cosec inverse of minus x is minus cosec inverse of x. Similarly, you know tan of minus a is minus tan a which is minus x. From that we will get tan inverse of minus x is minus tan inverse of x. Let us see next set of third set of properties cos inverse of minus x. It is an angle in the fourth quadrant pi minus cos inverse of x as I told many times cos inverse of negative value is an angle in the fourth quadrant pi minus cos inverse of x sec inverse of minus x pi minus sec inverse of x cot inverse of minus x is pi minus cot inverse of x. Here the proof of the first one cos inverse of x is a cos a is x. So, this point you have to remember this you have learned in trigonometry cos of pi minus a is minus cos a from that you will get minus x because x is cos a. Then pi minus a is cos inverse of minus x, pi minus a is cos inverse of minus x. So now cos inverse of minus x, I, I wrote this on the LHS, just change LHS and RHS. Cos inverse of minus x is pi minus a, that is a second one, first one cos inverse of x is a. So when you substitute here for a we can substitute cos inverse of x. So, from 1 and 2 we get cos inverse of minus x is pi minus cos inverse of x. Similar way, so main point you have to remember cos of pi minus a is minus cos a. That from that result we are getting this property. Similar way sec, in, sec of pi minus a is minus sec a. From that we will get this property sec inverse of minus x is pi minus sec inverse of x. Cot of pi minus a is minus cot a. Cot inverse of minus x is pi minus cot inverse of x. Next set of properties sin inverse of minus x plus cos inverse of minus x is pi by 2 tan inverse of sorry sin inverse of x plus cos inverse of x is pi by 2 tan inverse of x plus cot inverse of x is pi by 2 sec inverse of x plus cosec inverse of x is pi by 2. Let us see the proof of the first one step by step. Here what we have to prove is sin inverse of x plus cos inverse of x is pi by 2. So, I took sin inverse of x as theta. Let sin inverse of x be theta. So, sin theta is x, sin theta is x. Then we know that cos of pi by 2 minus theta, this also you have learned in 11th standard, pi, cos of pi by 2 minus theta is sin theta. From this result we are getting this property cos of pi, pi, pi 2 minus theta is sin theta, sin theta is x. Therefore, pi by 2 minus theta is cos inverse of x. 
Now, or you can say cos inverse of x is, I am taking this minus theta to this side, it become plus theta, I have written that on the left hand side cos inverse of x plus theta then pi by 2 is equal to pi by 2. Hence from 1 and 2 here sin theta for this theta we are substituting sin inverse of x. We are getting cos inverse of x plus sin inverse of x is equal to pi by 2. You can prove even by taking cos inverse of x is equal to theta. Instead of taking sin inverse of x is theta similar result we can prove by taking cos inverse of x is theta. Now let us see the second one in that second one you know cot of y by 2 minus theta tan theta from this result we are getting cot inverse of x plus tan inverse of x is pi by 2 and similar result for cosec pi by 2 minus theta is sec theta from that we get cosec inverse of x plus sec inverse of x is pi by 2. Now next set of properties it is tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y upon 1 minus x y tan inverse of x minus tan inverse of y tan inverse of x minus y upon 1 plus x y there are some conditions conditions should be satisfied very important it is 2 tan inverse of x is tan inverse of 2x upon 1 minus x square when modulus of x is less than 1. Here proof, proof of the first one tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y is tan inverse of x plus y upon 1 minus xy. Let tan inverse of x be A and tan inverse of y be B. This I take as A, a and this I took as B. Then we get x is tan A or tan A is equal to x, tan B is equal to y. Now which result you have to recall here? Tan of A plus B is tan A plus tan B upon 1 minus tan a tan b which is equal to x plus y upon 1 minus x y. Therefore, a plus b is tan inverse of x plus y upon 1 minus x y. We are substituting back for x y x and y here x is tan inverse of x. Sorry, uh, x is tan a, y is tan b. Substitute, substitute, yeah, sorry, here I substituted for tan a and tan b. Tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a tan b. Tan a is x, tan b is y, 1 minus tan a tan b, 1 minus x into y. So, you are getting x plus y upon 1 minus x y. Therefore, a plus b is equal to tan inverse of x plus y upon 1 minus x y. That means tan inverse substitute back for a and b. Tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y is tan inverse of x plus y upon 1 minus x y. So, that is the first one. So, what is the main formula tan of a plus b is tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a tan b. Its inverse form is this tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y upon 1 minus x y. And you already know tan of a minus b tan a minus tan b upon 1 plus tan a tan b. From that we will get tan inverse of x minus tan inverse of y is tan inverse of x minus y upon 1 plus x y. And 2 tan inverse of x is tan inverse of 2 x upon 1 minus x square. Here which trigonometric formula we have to recall? Let me take tan inverse of x 
is equal to a, then tan a is x, then tan 2 a, this is the main point, tan 2 a is 2 tan a upon 1 minus tan square a, which can be written as 2 x upon 1 minus x square, x is tan a, substituted for tan a, from that we are getting 2 a is tan inverse of 2 x upon 1 minus x square. So, a is tan inverse of x. So, you, get, you are getting 2 tan inverse of x is tan inverse of 2 x upon 1 minus x square. The last set of properties of inverse trigonometric functions. 2 tan inverse of x is sin inverse of 2 x upon 1 plus x square. 2 tan inverse of x is cos inverse of 1 minus x square upon 1 plus x square. The conditions are given here. 2 tan inverse of x is tan inverse of 2 x upon 1 minus x square all the three are 2 tan inverse of x can be written in different forms. So, they are derived from different trigonometry formulae. Let us see what are those formulae which are learned in 11th standard. First one 2 tan inverse of x is sin inverse of 2 x upon 1 plus x square I am going to prove that. So, tan a, let tan inverse of x be a then x is equal to tan a then the trigonometric formula sin 2 a is 2 tan a upon 1 plus tan square a which is equal to 2 x upon 1 plus x square substituting for x tan a tan a is x. So, here 2 a is sin inverse of 2 x upon 1 plus x square. So, that means a is tan inverse of x we are getting 2 tan inverse of x is sin inverse of 2 x upon 1 plus x square. So, you have to remember this trigonometric formula which are learned in 11th standard sin 2 a is 2 tan a upon 1 plus tan square a. Similarly, next one which formula it is uh, let tan inverse of x be a x is tan a then cos 2 a is 1 minus tan square a upon 1 plus tan square a 1 minus x square upon 1 plus x square. From that trigonometric formula we are getting 2 tan a 2 a is equal to cos inverse of 1 minus x square upon 1 plus x square 2 tan inverse of x is cos inverse of 1 minus x square upon 1 plus x square. And the third one is same as actually. Uh, uh, for fifth one, third one and sixth one, third one are same. So, I have not repeated the proof. Okay. Now, all the trigonometric formulae which you learned in 11th standard can be written in inverse form. I am showing that with using some examples. Exam it can be asked prove that, prove that uh, sin inverse of 2 x into root of 1 minus x square 2 sin inverse of x. It is proved using one, one of the trigonometry formula which you learned in 11th standard. Let us see what is that. Let me take the sin inverse of x is a then x is sin a then sin 2 a sin 2 a is 2 sin a cos a using that formula here 2 sin a into root of 1 minus sin square a sin a is x. So, 2 x into root of 1 minus x square then 2 a is equal to sin inverse of 2 x root of 1 minus x square, but there is some con there are some conditions the condition should be satisfied that is ok. Now, next uh, one more hence from 1 and 2 2 sin inverse of x is sin inverse of sin inverse of 2 x into root of 1 minus x square. Next one cos inverse of 2 x minus 2 x square minus 1 is 2 cos inverse of x. Its solution let cos inverse of x be a then cos a is x 
then on LHS cos inverse of 2x square minus 1 can be written as cos inverse of 2a a square 2 cos square a minus 1 x can is replaced by cos a cos square a minus 1. Now what is the result 2 cos square a minus 1 which you learnt in 11th standard 2 cos square a minus 1 is cos 2a. So what we are getting here cos inverse of cos 2a is 2a which is equal to 2 cos inverse of x 2 cos inverse of x. So we are getting from this main result 2 cos square a minus 1 is cos 2a. So, we can we are getting that is equal to RHS by doing the similar way you can do the previous one also by taking LHS equal proving LHS equal to RHS. Now tan inverse of 3 x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3 x square is equal to 3 tan inverse of x. So, here we take tan inverse of x is a. So, tan a is x. So, here which trigonometric formula when you substitute you are getting 3 tan a minus tan cube a upon 1 minus tan square a. I substitute for x 3 tan a minus tan cube a upon 1 minus 3 tan square a which you have learned in 11th standard tan 3 a. So, tan inverse of tan 3 a is 3 a which is equal to 3 tan inverse of x. So, that is from this main formula is LHS is this I substituted here for x I substituted tan a. So, we are getting this 3 tan inverse of x that is RHS. Okay. So, from this main result tan 3 a 3 tan a minus tan cube a upon 1 minus 3 tan square a. From that we are getting this result like that each trigonometric formula which you learned in 11th standard can be written in inverse form. But by satisfying some conditions, conditions are very important there. Now some problems using properties of inverse trigonometric function which you which I have given those 6 properties using those 6 properties here yeah, prove that tan inverse of 2 by 11 plus tan inverse of 7 by 24 is equal to tan inverse of half. Let us see what is a how do we prove this here I took LHS tan inverse of 2 by 11 plus tan inverse of 7 by 24 which can be written as tan inverse of 2 by 11 plus 7 by 24 upon 1 minus 2 by 11 into 2 7 by 24 by using which property property phi 1 you have to re refer to property phi 1 which is tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y upon 1 minus x y using that property we are getting this step and then we have to simplify take LCM, LCM is 11 into 24, then you get 2 into 24 plus 7 into 11 upon 11 into 24 minus 2 into 7 upon 11 into 24, you have to simplify, I did not write those steps, 11 into 24 get cancel, you will get 48 plus 77 there and you have to find out the value, you will simplify this, you will get half. So, which is tan inverse of half. Okay, that is LHS equal to, you will get LHS equal to RHS. Next is prove that sin inverse of 4 by 5 plus 2 tan inverse of 1 by 3 is equal to pi by 2 sin inverse of 4 by 5 plus 2 tan inverse of 1 by 3. Here 2 tan inverse of 1 by 3 we can write as tan inverse of 2 into 1 by 3 upon 1 minus 1 by 3 the whole square using the property 5 3. What was the property there? 2 tan 
tan inverse of x is equal to tan inverse of 2x upon 1 minus x square using that property. Now, how I am getting sin inverse of 4 by 5 is equal to tan inverse of 4 by 3 that is from triangle. Suppose you take sin inverse of 4 by 5 is equal to a then sin a is equal to 4 by 5 opposite upon hypotenuse this angle I took as a. So, opposite upon hypotenuse then adjacent by Pythagoras theorem root of 25 minus 16 root 9 which is 3. Therefore, tan, tan a is 4 by 3 I have not written that tan a is 4 by 3 a is tan inverse of 4 by 3. And this is a famous Pythagoras triplet 3, 4, 5. You should know some Pythagoras triplets. Okay, so, from that we are getting tan inverse of 4 by 3. So, now tan inverse of 4 by 3 plus tan inverse of simplify this. This is 2 by 3 and this is 8 by 3. So, yeah, get cancel you get 3 by 4. 3 by 4. So, what we are getting now tan inverse of 4 by 3 plus tan inverse of 3 by 4 that is tan inverse of 4 by 3 plus cot inverse of 4 by 3. How cot inverse of 4 by 3? It is by using the first property tan inverse of 3 by 4 is cot inverse of 1 by 4 by 3. That is a relation between tan inverse of x and cot inverse of 1 by x they are equal or cot inverse of x and tan inverse of 1 by x both are equal if x is positive. Here it is a positive value therefore we can write cot inverse of 4 by 3 and this here which property is used this is for property uh, 4 tan inverse of x plus cot inverse of x is pi by 2 tan inverse of x plus cot inverse of x is pi by 2. So, we are getting this equal to pi by 2 ok. Now, next problem solving the equation of x solving equation for x means finding the value of x inverse trigonometric equation is given you have to find the value of x yeah. It is not proving, not proving this equal to this, we are, this is given to you, this is an equation in x, you have to find the value of x. So, here tan inverse of x plus 1 plus tan inverse of x minus 1 is equal to tan inverse of 8 upon 31, that is a given equation, I have written it once again. Now, this here we can use a property tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y is tan inverse of x plus y upon 1 minus x y using that instead of x you have x plus 1 instead of y you have x minus 1. So, tan inverse of x plus 1 plus x minus 1 upon 1 minus x plus 1 into x minus 1 is tan inverse of 8 upon 31 I use property 5 1 here and here now you can eliminate tan inverse both the side you have tan inverse so when you take tan of this and tan of this tan inverse is eliminated. So, we can equate these two. So, we are getting this equal to 8 upon 31 then we are simplifying this. So, you get 2 minus x square here plus 1 minus 1 get cancelled you get 2 x upon 2 minus x square is 8 upon 31. When you cross multiply you get 62 x minus 16 minus 8 x square can be reduced to 4 x square plus 31 x minus 8 and its solutions are 4 x minus 1 into x minus 8 equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 1 by 4 or 8 but here the answer is only x is equal to 1 by 4 x is equal to 8 is discarded because in the property 5 1 x y should be less than 1. If x is 8 it becomes 
9 and 7 then this will not hold. So, for only one answer x is equal to 1 by 4. The next solving equation finding the value of x here another equation is given in inverse uh, equation inverse trigonometric function equation here 2 tan inverse of sin x is tan inverse of 2 sec x. Here we are using a property 2 tan inverse of sin x. We are using property 6 3 tan inverse of x 2 tan inverse of x tan inverse of 2 x minus 1 minus x square instead of x you have sin x. So, tan inverse of 2 x upon 1 minus sin square x which is 1 minus sin square x. Now, you can equate these two. So, 2 tan inverse of x upon 1 minus sin square x is 2 sec x. So, 2 sin x upon cos square x which is 2 upon cos x. We can cancel 1 cos x, 2 can be cancelled. Finally, you will get sin x is equal to cos x. That means, tan x equal to 1. Recall the solution of this equation which are done in the 11th standard tan x equal to 1 which is equal to tan pi by 4 1 of the value pi by 4 other values can be written in terms of pi by 4 the answer is x is equal to n pi plus pi by 4 n can be any integer ok. Another problem cot inverse of x minus cot inverse of x plus 2 is equal to pi by 2. To solve the solution cot inverse of x minus cot inverse of x plus 2 equal to pi by 12, pi by 12 it is, pi by 12 means half into pi by 6, half into 30 degree, 15 degree it is pi by 12. So, pi by cot inverse of x can be written as pi by 2 minus tan inverse of x, cot inverse of x plus 2 can be written as pi by 2 minus tan inverse of x plus 2 here I use property 4 2 for property 4 2 says cot inverse of x plus tan inverse of x equal to pi by 2. The for cot inverse of x is pi by 2 minus tan inverse of x. Similarly, pi by 2 minus tan inverse of x plus 2 which can be simplified. So, pi by 2 minus pi by 2 get cancelled open the bracket this becomes plus. So, we get tan inverse of minus tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of x plus 2 equal to pi by 12 that can be written tan inverse of x plus 2 minus tan inverse of x is pi by 12. So, here I used another property tan inverse of x plus 2 minus x is 1 plus x plus 2 into x which is equal to pi by 12. Here I use the property phi 2 tan inverse of x minus tan inverse of y is tan inverse of x, x minus y upon 1 plus x y and now we can take this equal to this equal to tan of pi by 12. Pi by 12 I told you pi by 12 is 15 degree, 15 degree can be written as 60 minus 45. So, pi by 3 minus pi by 4 you have to write in radians you cannot write in degrees. So, it is tan pi by 3 minus tan pi by 4 upon 1 plus tan pi by 3 into tan pi by 4. Here we are using tan of a minus b trigonometric formula tan a minus tan b upon 1 plus tan a tan b. So, 2 upon x plus 1 the whole square. Now, here I have written 2 upon x plus 1 the whole square root 3 putting values of tan pi by 3 and tan pi by 4 root 3 minus 1 upon 1 plus root 3 into 1 that we can multiply numerator denominator by 1 plus root 3, 1 plus root 3 which gives you root 3 the whole square minus 1 upon 1 plus root 3 the whole square. So, here root 3 the whole, so you get 2 upon 1 plus root 3 the whole square. Therefore, 1 plus x square is 1 plus root 3 square, x is equal to root 3, x is equal to root 3 that is a final answer x value should be root 3. Next is uh, solve another one more problem sin inverse of 1 minus x is equal to 2 sin inverse of x upon pi by 2. Uh, 
uh, I had taken one book sin inverse of 1 by x is 2 sin inverse of x is equal to pi by 2 sin inverse of 1 minus x is pi by 2 plus 2 sin inverse of x. Therefore, 1 minus x is sin of pi by 2 plus 2 sin inverse of x that can be written as pi, pi by 2 plus theta sin of pi by 2 plus theta cos theta cos of 2 sin inverse of x and cos of 2 sin inverse of x is cos inverse of 1 minus x square. How we are getting that we are getting from this property 2 cos inverse of x is cos inverse of 1 minus x square. Then 1 minus x is 1 minus x is we can now we can take it 1 minus x square cos of cos inverse of 1 minus 2 x square is 1 minus 2 x square. So, 1 minus x is 1 minus 2 x square or x is equal to x is equal to 2 x square 1 and 1 get cancelled. So, x can be taken common you can take it to same side x can be taken common you get x into 2x minus 1 equal to 0 x is equal to 0 or half. But here when you substitute x is equal to half here what will you get 1 minus half 2 sin inverse of half. So, sin inverse of half minus 2 sin inverse of half you will get sin inverse of half minus 2 sin inverse of half which is equal to 2 sin inverse of half sin inverse of half which is minus half which is minus sin inverse of half which is minus pi by 6 which is not equal to RHS. So, therefore, it cannot though you are getting x is equal to 0 and half it cannot be half it can be only 0. We, if you substitute in this you have to check substitute in the given equation and check whether it can be both the answers. So, here there is only one answer which is x is equal to 0. Next is uh, write the following in the simplest form another type of question which can be asked from the chapter. I have done one or two three sums of that tan inverse of x plus root of 1 minus x square how do we simplify x is equal to tan theta x is tan theta I took then what will happen tan inverse of x plus root of 1 plus x square tan inverse of tan theta plus root of 1 plus tan square theta tan inverse of tan theta plus x square theta tan inverse of tan theta plus sec theta tan inverse of sin theta upon cos theta plus 1 by cos theta which is tan inverse of 1 plus sin theta upon cos theta. These are all non formula in 11 standard you have done. So, I do not have to explain much, but here 1 plus sin theta you have learned a formula in 11 standard cos theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2 the whole square cos theta can be written as cos square theta by 2 minus sin square theta by 2. So, tan inverse of cos theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2 the whole square here we are using a square minus b square formula cos theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 plus sin theta by 2. So, we can simplify you get tan inverse of cos theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2 upon cos theta by 2 plus sin theta by 2 it has to be divided by cos theta by 2 divide numerator and denominator by cos theta by 2 that means divide each term in numerator each term in denominator by cos theta by 2 then it becomes tan inverse of 1 minus tan theta by 2 upon 1 plus tan theta by 2 by property phi 2 what is property phi 2 tan inverse of x minus y upon 1 plus x y is tan inverse of x minus tan inverse of y. So, here we take x is 1 and y is tan theta by 2 and this 1 we keep as it is and tan theta by 2 we can write as 1 into tan theta by 2. So, x into y. So, it is in the form x minus y upon 1 plus x y. So, it is tan inverse of 1 minus tan inverse of tan theta by 2 tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4 tan inverse of tan theta by 2 is theta by 2 pi by 4 minus half into tan inverse of x from where you get tan inverse of x here 
theta is tan inverse of x. So, we are getting pi by 4 minus half into tan inverse of x that is a simplified form of this. Now, another sum here are some points what you have to remember to simplify an inverse normative function usually when you have x a square minus x square we substitute x equal to a tan theta that is what we did in the previous sum root of 1 plus x square a is 1 there. So, we substitute a tan theta if, when you have root of a square minus x square we substitute a sin theta or a cos theta here a cot theta also you can substitute root of a square minus x square substitute x is equal to a cos the sec theta a cos, cos sec theta and here root of 1 plus x root of 1 minus x substitute x is equal to a cos theta or a sin theta. So, write this write in simplest form I have done another two sums simplest form here you have root of 1 minus x square. So, it is like a square minus x square instead of a we have 1. So, 1 square. So, we are substituting x is equal to sin theta sin inverse of x plus root of 1 minus x square. So, this is sin theta root of 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta root of cos square theta is cos theta. Now, we are separating cos sin theta upon root 2 plus cos theta upon root 2. Then 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2 we can write as cos pi by 4 and this 1 by root 2 is written as sin pi by 4. Now, this here you have to recall trigonometric formula sin theta cos pi by 4 plus cos theta sin pi by 4. It is like sin a cos b plus cos a sin b which is sin of a plus b. Similarly, here sin inverse of sin of instead of a you have theta instead of b you have pi by 4 sin of theta plus pi by 4. Sin inverse of sin of theta plus pi by 4 is theta plus pi by 4 which is sin inverse of x plus pi by 4. So, that is a simplified form of this trigonometric expression function. Okay, now, next is uh, sin of 2 tan inverse of root of 1 minus x upon 1 plus x. When you have root of 1 minus x upon root of 1 plus x, I have told better to substitute x is equal to a cos theta or a sin theta. So, x is equal to a cos theta is sin of 2 tan inverse of root of 1 minus psi x upon 1 plus x which is sin of 2 tan inverse of 1 minus cos theta upon 1 plus cos theta which is 1 minus cos theta you should know trigonometry formula 2 sin square theta by 2 1 plus cos theta 2 cos square theta by 2. All this you have learnt in 11 standard so 2 2 get cancelled you get tan square theta by 2 tan inverse of tan theta by 2 which is theta by 2. So, we are getting sin of 2 into theta by 2. So, 2 2 get cancelled you get sin theta which is root of 1 minus cos square theta which is equal to root of 1 minus x square. Now, one more sum cot inverse of a upon root of x square minus a square x is a sec theta or a cosec theta anything you can substitute I substituted a sec theta. So, cot inverse of a upon root of a sec square theta minus a square a square can be taken common. So, sec square theta minus 1 which is a square tan square theta but there is a square root. So, it is a tan theta. So, a a get cancel. So, you are getting cot inverse of cot theta which is theta. Now, what is theta? Theta look at here x upon a is a sec theta. So, theta is sec inverse of x upon a therefore, which is equal to sec inverse of x upon a. So, these are the some simplified form I gave. So, I am stopping here and there are many sums in the textbook.
miscellaneous exercise, you have to practice sums from the textbook. Prudent Scholars, powered by Lupin Pharmaceuticals.